Welcome to the first devlog of my dream game. It's a procedurally generated real-time strategy game that combines collectible card decks with unique puzzle levels. No feature will be left unimplemented. Scope creep shall know no bounds. This, this will be my greatest work yet. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Will and I have a problem. I really struggle to finish projects. The truth is, I have a wide range of creative hobbies and a pathetically short attention span. My 9 to 5 is software engineering, but outside of that, you might find me making generative art, writing and producing my own music, or just messing around in Unity. And yes, <laughs> these projects are all unfinished. In fact, it was only recently that I finished my first proper side project. This is Concentric, a Wordle-inspired daily puzzle game I designed and built as a progressive web app in React just a few months ago. Now I realise it isn't that impressive, but that's actually its strength. Its simplicity meant that I could actually focus on something achievable and get it over the line. This is the approach I need to apply to game development. It's nothing new. If you've watched enough devlogs, you'll know that most developers' top advice is to start small. And despite all of that, a few weeks ago, I ignored this advice and started a new game with a handful of random ideas and no real constraints on what I was trying to make. I was aiming for something strategy-based, and in true strategy fashion, I knew I wanted it to be played on a hexagonal-based grid. Think Civ V or similar. So the first thing I implemented was a strategy-style camera controller. I used a lot of the ideas in Game Dev Guide's video tutorial to get me started on this. I'll link that in the description below. With that working, I then came across Cat Light Coding's brilliant Unity tutorials on hex maps and decided I would use these concepts to make the foundation of my new strategy game. Again, I'll link this below. This tutorial covered creating the initial hex grid, including the cube coordinate system, blending of cell colors, map editing, cell elevations and terraces, and perturbing the cells. But after finishing all of that, I realized I was being completely overambitious. Although fun, even just following the tutorials was an endeavor and I could see the work of my potential dream game multiply out in front of me. Thinking back to Concentric, I knew that I needed to forget the dream game and just set my sights on something more achievable. And that's where we properly begin. Firstly, I decided to get rid of the mesh generation code. For the sake of constraining the scope, I didn't think I needed procedural mesh generation, especially if I end up going in the direction of a puzzle game. So with that in mind, I brought in hex skin tile assets that allow me to create level designs of my choosing. Big shout out to Kenny, whose hex skin kit I'm using as placeholder models to get started with the prototype. Again, I'll link this kit in the description below. It's under a Creative Commons Universal Public Domain license, but if you do use this in your project, it's always greatly appreciated when you give attribution to the original creator. Although I removed the mesh generation code, I kept the underlying hex map code to leave me with general utilities, like converting world coordinates to tile positions, finding neighboring tiles, and so on. I then started messing around by placing tiles using my very basic tile selector, hoping to find some sort of inspiration. It was at this point I was strangely drawn to the sheep farm tile. Although the sheep were static, I started to imagine them grazing around the hex map. A few months back, I had watched a video on Tom Scott's second channel, in which he learned to herd sheep for the first time. I found it fascinating. I knew what sheep dogs were capable of, but I'd never really seen or understood how herding was achieved in practice, particularly using the vocabulary of basic voice commands. So, what if we could herd these sheep? A puzzle game where the mechanics involved rounding up the sheep into a target pair. A sheepdog could be controlled with player-issued commands. Perhaps vehicles such as quad bikes could be unlocked to help herd the sheep. Fences could be strategically placed to aid the herding, and so on. It could all be level-based, with increasing difficulties and new mechanics as progress is made. 
But these are all just ideas at the moment. I really need to build a quick prototype of these mechanics and test if the game is actually enjoyable to play. So that's it for this introductory devlog. Next episode, I'll be creating sheep that can actually move around our map and implement some kind of flocking algorithm to create some herd-like movement. I'll then look to extend this behaviour so that they're affected in the presence of a predator. This way, we can start to control their movement with the sheepdog. For now though, thanks for watching. I'm new to the devlog scene, so any feedback or suggestions in the form of comments would be greatly appreciated. And if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe to share your support. Thanks all, and see you soon.